we'll start the program very good afternoon we'll start the program with uh, the igno kulgit afternoon all of you so today we have assembled here for the webinar on awareness generation on three hours that's for uh, uh, reducing reuse and recycle of uh, waste so this is uh, as part of the special campaign on which, which focuses on cleanliness including disposal of pending matters etc so this webinar is the second phase or the special campaign which is underway so on behalf of this webinar and on behalf of uh, regional uh, center trivandrum i first welcome the director rst to this uh, webinar next i would uh, like to welcome dr hema pant ma'am to this uh, webinar on behalf of uh, igno regional center trivandrum next i would like to welcome all the colleagues from various regional centers regional directors and all the coordinators of 
uh, Igno Regional Center Trivandrum as well as other uh, regional centers and all the uh, functionaries of uh, of the study centers program study centers etc the guest speaker or the keynote speaker for this uh, uh, awareness generation on triage is uh, sri mc rajilen who is a uh, leading trainer and a mentor with the dopt government of india i on behalf of uh, the original center trivandrum and as well as on uh, on this webinar i welcome him to this program welcome you sir next Thank i want you. to welcome our regional director dr b sukumar uh, to this uh, webinar welcome you sir so last uh, i welcome all the participants all the staff and uh, of of uh, our regional center to this program welcome you all once again thank you next i would uh, request our regional director dr b sukumar for his uh, uh, inaugural address Uh, respected RST Director, Dr. Hemapan, RST officials, and uh, Mr. Rajidhar, and my colleagues, and the participants from other uh, regional centers. Today's webinar on awareness program on three R's, that is uh, reduced, reused, and recycled, being organized by Igno Regional Center Transfer today. With the vision of giving a heartfelt tribute to a clean India by Mahatma Gandhi and the success of the special campaign 1.0 last year. The government of India has launched the special campaign 2.0 for disposal of pending matters and such other. The three R initiative aims to promote the three R's, that is, the reduced, reuse, and recycle, is globally so as to build a sound material cycle society to the effective use of resources and materials. The principle of reducing waste, reusing and recycling resources and the products is often called the three R. Reducing means choosing to use things which care to reduce the amount of waste generated. Reusing involves the repeated use of item or part of item which still have usable aspects. Recycling means the use of waste itself is as a resources. Waste minimization can be achieved in an efficient and effective way by focusing primarily on the first of the three R's, reduced to followed by reuse and then used by the recycle. Awareness of solid waste reduction program is the priority in institution of higher learning institution nowadays for a greener environment just spot about the issues of three R's. Practiced by all waste generators within the urban and higher education institutions around the globe, integrated solid waste management hierarchy was adopted to enlighten the waste generation to use them in three or critical success factors as a substantial method to deal with the situation given priority to the waste reduction. As a part of the special campaign 2.0, including pending matters being undertaken from 2nd October 2022 to 31st October 22, Igno Regional Center Trivandrum, in the preparative phase of the campaign, has conducted space, space management on 29th September 2022 at the Regional Center building and the cleanest strike on 30th September 2022 at the new Regional Center premises. In addition, an awareness campaign um, Suchada was organized exclusively for the student police cadets of government tribal school Minakal Trivandrum on 12th October uh, 2022. To collate further with the special campaign 2.0, Igno Regional Center Trivandrum is now organizing a webinar on awareness generation on three hours today. In this connection, a special talk on the topic will be delivered by 
Sri M. Singh, the Dilak, trainer and mentor of DOPT, Government of India. So he, he is an also a trainer of Junior Chamber International and founder chairman of Academy for Creative Excellence. He is also a guest faculty in several central universities, including IMB Government of Kerala. So, sir, I once again I welcome on behalf of the General Regional Center to Bandra and my own behalf. And thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Next, I would invite uh, our guest speaker, Sri M. C. Rajalan, for his uh, address on awareness generation on three hours. Sir, please. Okay, thank you very much, my dear friends, Satyagirti, for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. And uh, good afternoon to uh, most respected Sumar sir and Hemapan madam and all the uh, regional directors across the country, uh, regional coordinators from various parts of the country and the participants from different parts of our country. And it's a great opportunity for me to interact with a cross section of the country. And it's a great privilege also. <clears throat> Thank you very much for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. We all know about uh, Pancha Bhudas. It's an old concept of India. The space, wind, water, earth and fire. And all the inventions, discoveries, all the developments in this world, on all the scientific temples are built based on these five components. And that is the primary resource for the existence of human being other than other than human being, the whole universe and uh, the human being, the human race is supposed to protect these Panjabhudas as they can and the best they can. But when we are going a self-analysis, a lot of questions arise in our mind. Other than protecting these Panjabodas, whether we are destroying them, we are making manipulations over them, or the human race is making everlasting impact in the balance of the universe for our selfish motives careless attitude and uh, non-credibility towards the next generation. And it is high time we are thinking about the sustainable development of the world. And all the developed, developing and undeveloped countries are thinking of protecting the Mother Earth and it is the most important part of our education system and our part of our social responsibility also. And when we are thinking about the components which are affecting the systematic approach of the nature because the nature itself is having a systematic approach to regulate the evils and regulate the most important factors which is affecting its balance. But when we are contributing something which is beyond the control of even the Mother Earth, it starts being retaliating and the whole system of the universe is being affected by 
this retaliation. And waste management, because waste is the byproduct of our productivity, our inventions, our discoveries, and uh, the nature itself is being exhausted by whatever waste and majority of them are knowingly or unknowingly created by human race only. And this failure in the management of this waste is creating, number one, climatic changes. Number two, it's creating air pollution and it is affecting the entire ecosystem. It is affecting the health of both human being and non-human entity. And it is destroying the environmental sustainability. And the methane gases contribute to the climatic changes. And the contaminated soil, contaminated water, both of them produce toxic chemicals. And that toxic chemicals reach in our food grains, vegetables, fish, meat. And these toxic chemicals are reaching our dining tables without any delay. This is what we should very carefully listen. And it naturally affects our health. And uh, the amount of waste is always closely linked to our production and consumption pattern. As India is a developing country, our system of production and way of consumption is being shifted drastically for the last 10-15 years. And the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change is responsible for regulating and managing waste in India. And the Central Pollution Board and the State Pollution uh, Control Boards, Central Pollution Control Board and the State Pollution Control Boards are controlling proper management of waste in the country. But the population growth, the urbanization, the economic growth, the consumer behavior, the shopping habits, these are the basic factors behind the increase of waste in our country. And by 2050, it is estimated that the worldwide municipal solid waste generation is expected to increase by 70%. That means 3.4 million metric tons. You can imagine the amount of waste that is going to be accumulated in our planet and the plastic waste, electronic waste, food waste, everything is going to be increased and uh, unfortunately our earth is going to be a place where we cannot live peacefully with the uh, Panjabudas, especially water, air and the food. And unfortunately, India and China produce the most household food waste every year. 
and china has taken some steps in this regard where india is now taking stringent steps towards it because the government of india has considered this case as one of the most important factor and our most respected prime minister has addressed so many nations regarding this and regarding sustainable development and the importance of creating sustainable system for managing based in a productive manner and as far as food waste are concerned the farms the supermarkets the restaurants and the change in the eating habit of indian urban people during covid so they have created a lot of supply chains and supply persons and that thus we are creating our dining rooms as along with our food we are creating the food waste places also and the over production product damage lack of proper warehousing with the refrigeration these all are creating food waste management a hazardous one so whenever you are thinking of ordering some food to through some supply chains always bear in mind we cannot avoid it but we can make a strategy to eat most comfortable most tastiest food in the most comfortable manner in our dining room but we should have some responsibility towards the coming generation and towards the mother earth so we can think about this how we can avoid this in the coming later part of our speech industrial medical electronic hazards are making other threat for us so the hazards hazardous waste creation in india is highly dangerous and unfortunately Gujarat is rated high with the 3.2 million metric tons of hazardous waste creation by 2021. As far as the statistics are concerned, in the year 2021, Gujarat raised the highest hazardous waste creation, followed by Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, and Odisha. and when when we are thinking analyzing the time of covid 19 you may have a remember you may have remembering some photographs appeared in the newspapers regarding our capital city when whole people were closed in their rooms and no vehicles were outside the city the brightness of delhi was visible for us but when we are analyzing that same year 2020 another dangerous situation we are still we are continuously following will come to our mind in 2020 july 101 metric Ton. Biomedical waste related to COVID nineteen was created. One hundred and one metric ton per day, and it was created in the southwest of Maharashtra. So it was created by the whole India and. Uh, 
17.5 metric ton was created in the southwest Maharashtra. And when it reaches September, we start the uh, 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 study starts with July. In July, it was 101. And when just it reached August after September, it uh, reached to 183 metric ton per day. And it is calculated that 5,490 metric ton COVID-19 related biomedical waste was created in the year 2020 in India only. See, the amount of biomedical waste created in our country during all the persons were sitting their home safely. And this shows the importance, importance of protecting the system in a natural way and to protect it for for the coming generation and making sustainable development a reality. So earlier we were thinking about uh, the 5R principle. As the Kumar sir was mentioning in his inaugural address, reduce, uh, reuse and regulate or recycle. They were the most important part we were considering earlier. But as the time passes, our Prime Minister has declared a principle of reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, redesign and remanufacture. The number of R are increased. I am repeating, it is a reduced, a reuse, a recycle, a recover, a redesign, and a remanufacture. These are the words coined by our Honorable Prime Minister during his address to the whole world about sustainable development and protecting the environment. And I am creating another based on the concept of our respected Prime Minister. I am creating, I am following the system that which the most modern countries or developed countries in the world now are following are the five R principle. And the most important one is refuse. I told you just before you about we are ordering food. We are purchasing through online platforms. And the, be, uh, the behavior of the people changed a lot psychologically and physiologically during the lockdown period. And that two years make a, made a sea change in the behavior of human beings all over the world. But when we are ordering, this is this message is to be passed all over the India and all the producers should get the symbol and they should get the sign since in this platform 26 group of people are there from 26 regional centers of Signal. 
I strongly believe that this is the right platform. It is the strongest platform and it is one of the most important and most highly educated and elated platform with which we can create a change in the approach of the producers by changing our behavior. That is the first R, a refuse. We cannot refuse the food. We cannot refuse uh, usable items. We cannot refuse household uh, particles. But we can refuse to buy wasteful or non-recyclable products. Whenever we are ordering for a product, it is our primary duty as a responsible citizen of this country, as an educated person of this country, and as a person with high social intelligence. We should refuse to buy wasteful or non-recyclable products. Number two, we should refuse unnecessary product packaging and request reusable or returnable containers because the non reusable and non returnable containers are creating problems in each and every home, especially in flats and villas, especially in urban areas. Nobody know how to discard these containers. So we should pass a message by creating a smart purchasing decision wave. This is what I am requesting. This webinar should be reflect, reflected in the production process of the production manufacturing units by creating a silent wave, a silent wave of, wave of smart purchasing decision wave. We can call that wave as smart purchasing decision wave. And we should give suggestions to the producers through online media, going to their websites and commenting. We ask the responsible citizen of this country have taken a decision, refused to purchase your product because it is against the sustainable waste management system India is decided to follow and our Prime Minister is already decided we are going to follow a sustainable waste management system. So two options are in front of you. Either you can change the way of manufacturing, way of packing, way of creating containers, way of manufacturing containers, way of manufacturing packaging, package materials, whatever it may be, whichever article, whichever product you are sending to my home should be reusable and it should be returnable, either returnable or reusable. Now, the, the, there is a big difference between a person is taking a decision and our whole platform, the entire country is taking that decision. And when people like us are creating that uh, decision, when the wave starts, let it start very slowly. 
like the river ganges or any river in this world is originating from a small rock like a small spring let the wave start from today onwards from this after after effect of this webinar number 2 we should reduce reduce the use of harmful wasteful and non recyclable products first we are refusing but we know even though we refuse it in the first we may be forced to use it because there is no another alternative but when we start reducing the use of these products in a systematic way and there should be a slogan use the minimum to avoid unnecessary waste and it's a habit for us to create a lot of food waste whenever we are going to parties in which we are attending especially buffet system people are taking plates and filling it with the food which they can ever eat and finish it and putting that wet food into the dustbin so think about the people who can never take that food outside the hall outside the restaurant outside the auditorium unfortunately i have witnessed so many so reputed persons mercilessly taking filling their plates and wasting the food and actually it is a punishable offense a criminal offense but we have no shame on it so reduce the use minimum use minimum to avoid unnecessary waste and uh, number 3 reuse reuse is a alternative theory for the throw away culture that modern civilization has created use and to throw this is a culture that we have created now use and to throw and the in since 1950 the use and throw culture came to our system our mind through the plastic products and uh, it is estimated that since 1950 the waste plastic waste in this world is doubled by every 15 years this doubling by every 15 years and the united states of america was exporting this plastic materials to china and china was the dumping yard for us plastic materials and china declared a policy of national sold policy and they banned the import of plastic recyclable from the rest of the world and after banning the import of plastics to their country they started exporting that plastics into another countries unfortunately our nation is one of the dumping yard for their plastic waste
which is we should address we should identify we should recognize our son of the worst evils that we are facing now and it is very highly alarming and highly dangerous to know that 5.25 trillion it is not a small amount 5.25 trillion plastic particles are gathering in the world's oceans and it is affecting the whole system there in the ocean it is affecting the life of not a small fishes but even the largest whales and do you know the plastic garbage patch floating in northern pacific ocean the plastic garbage patch which is floating in northern pacific ocean is larger than the state of texas in us and it is titled as great pacific garbage patch how long these oceans can sustain with a healthy nature we should be very careful about these things and unfortunately researchers suggested that this pollution in the ocean is directly going to affect the human race by creating birth defects metabolic diseases all other health problems not only to human being but also to every living organism in this world so there is an international concept which we can simply adopt as the part of this webinar that's my second request first request i have given you say comments say directions say notes to the producers we are going to refuse your product unless and until you are transforming yourself to eco friendly sustainable development friendly less wasteful products number 2 this is not my concept this is an international concept where many nations are observing each month now we are in the brim of the month of november you know whenever we are taking juice whenever we are taking some uh, drinking materials while we were uh, traveling we were doing for an excursion we were going for a tea party even the when we are ordering a juice through sugi or somato we will get a plastic straw it is so simple but when we make a decision the goal of no straw november i'm requesting all the learned persons in this platform to take a small pledge in your mind for this month the month of november i am observing the month of november as no straw month because without the straw also we can drink without the straw also we can live without the straw also plastic straw also we can enjoy but the straw which you are putting into 
the garbage that has been is 90% of it is unfortunately reaching our ocean through different phases friends it is going to affect the entire system and our next generation is going to suffer and we also are going to suffer so we have taken two decisions so three decisions refuse reduce and reuse the fourth one is a repurpose the fourth and fifth one are now being implemented through lot of agencies including non government organizations ngos all over the world and fortunately of government of india the niti aayog itself is promoting the repurpose and recycle both the processes and both these processes are creating a new slogan for us waste is a displaced resource waste is a displaced resource and when we reuse it when we change the mode when we repurpose it and when we recycle it it is not only protect our environment but our economic system also that is the most important part of it because our economy as the expert says economic expert says how we can manage our economy and uh, our waste management system simultaneously and the circular economy system is very important and when we are following the circular economic system we can save both our planet and our pockets we can serve our environment and our economy we can protect our family budget as well as our family surroundings and in circular economy system we make something it is simple we make something and if we are using it after using we are reusing it and after reusing we are returning it and after returning it again we are making it another form and again we are using it then we are recycling it then recycling ego goes to making then comes to using then you re reusing then going to return so the circle will continue see so many organizations in this world so most respectable organizations and ngos has made so many plans so many projects in this world regarding this i'm fortunate to tell and the part of rotary club international has created such a movement all over the world to protect the mother earth and so many projects were created to create to protect the to recycle 
to use reuse return recycle use system for solid waste management and another waste management systems all over the world and so many organizations are following the path of rotary international for this one and uh, these five r's creating an everlasting impact and uh, the waste management in india that may that may also be a wandering figure for us the waste management in india is potentially 15 billion dollar industry in india that is why i told you waste is not simple waste but it is displaced resource and india produces 9.46 million ton of plastic waste per year and only 40% of it is being collected and 60% is being uncollected dumped in various parts of the country and we are creating 2 million e waste dear friends fortunately we are having so many organizations in this world so many entrepreneurs especially educated youth entrepreneurs who believes in the system of protecting our mother earth a started different organizations different business organizations and a uh, different uh, factories which believes in the system of protecting mother earth and uh, waste management system and they are creating wonderful products out of it they are creating reusing recycling remodeling and uh, rebuilding a uh, repurposing the waste to usable items and all are requested to go through that uh, small scale medium scale and large scale producers where young generation is giving more attention to us it and they are creating some sea change in this world and we can proudly say we it is our responsibility those who are attending this webinar it is our responsibility to purchase the product from them that is the support system that we can create for the people who are having that social responsibility and social intelligence they are the people they are not thinking about their profit only but the people they are thinking about both the people and profit and planet three peace protecting the planet protecting the people and creating profits that should be the motto of the industrialists and entrepreneurs every business is done for profiting but it should not be at the cost of the planet and it should not be at the cost of the people's health and peaceful living their air their water their food their shelter nothing should not be affected and when some people some groups some individuals are creating some positive approach towards it and they are putting their steps towards it as a responsible citizens it is our 
prime duty to protect them support them giving them a moral support by purchasing changing our purchasing habit to us purchase those product which are being repurposed and recycled and friends one ton of one ton a ton of recycled paper a ton of recycled paper save 17 trees 2.5 barrels of oil 1000 4100 kilowatt electricity 4 cubic meters of landfill space and 31780 liters of water this is a scientifically proven statistics which i am telling you i am repeating a ton of recycled paper saves 17 trees 2.5 barrels of oil 4100 kilowatt of electricity 4 cubic meters of land film space and 13 31780 liters of water so all the newspapers in this country all the industry is based on paper manufacturing they should consider it as an opportunity for them to make a profit and to protect our mother men may come men may go but i go on for ever this is one of the most important recordings of a poem you know but can we say it will happen in our universe men may come men may go but the brook the rivers the ocean the mountains which are the treasures of this universe for the coming generation whether it will go on for ever and it is high time to act so refuse make one month straw free month purchase those products which are created through the principle of five or theory of rebuilt and uh, sorry recycle and repurpose and give a supporting hand to the entire system which is going to work in this world and let us be the part of a chain a wave a silent wave which is going to make a storm in this world to us protecting the need of protecting environment by managing the waste in a productive and purposeful manner thank you thank you very much thank you sir for your uh, enlightening and uh, most wanting speech on awareness generation on trias i think uh, your uh, suggestions should be adopted by all of us who are present in this 
webinar. Next, I would uh, like to invite Dr. Hema Pant, madam, ma'am, for your uh, comments, please. Yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Satyakirti. Yeah. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Sukumar for uh, giving me this opportunity to be here. Uh, and I'd like to welcome all our uh, members from the other regional centers and our chief speakers and resource person, um, uh, Mr. Rajilan, and uh, our other expert who's present on the panel. Uh, I would like to um, really congratulate uh, Dr. Sukumar for organizing this very important uh, webinar and uh, for uh, giving us this opportunity to um, hear and uh, you know listen to the valuable insights given by our uh, resource person uh, well as you all know this is part of the campaign of the uh, government of india which is uh, the special campaign uh, two for uh, the uh, cleanliness and um, you know uh, the swachhata campaign and also the reducing pendency matters and uh, you know record management etc at the offices at all government offices uh, and uh, this uh, this uh, scheme has been um, this campaign has been launched in two phases one is the preparatory phase and the which started on 14 september ended on 30th september and the second phase is the uh, campaign phase which uh, began on 2nd october and will go on till 31st october and as part of this campaign today regional center trivandrum has organized this uh, very important session on uh, awareness generation about the three r's that is reduce reuse recycle and uh, this very valuable lecture given by our resource person is uh, our eminent expert on this uh, topic, I think has really uh, highlighted certain important dimensions of this whole um, concept. And um, as we all know that, um, uh, you know, the uh, uh, kind of um, the, the concept, I India is also uh, this, uh, you know, we are committed and we are signatories to the uh, UN Sustainable Development Goals, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, which have been, um, uh, you know, envisaged that uh, the Sustainable Development Goals will be achieved by the year 2030. And uh, so as part of that drive also to promote a sustainable lifestyle, to have a, you know, a healthy and um, a sustainable planet for all the posterity for the future generations. Uh, it is important that we adopt these sustainable practices. And important among this uh, is uh, this uh, three R's that is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Um, so uh, as as our expert has given us a very uh, important, uh, I think most of the important uh, dimensions have been addressed in his initial lecture and uh, in his lecture. And I think we can uh, the session. Uh, uh, will be enriched if it is taken forward uh, by the uh, other participants and also you know there's some kind of interaction in this whole session but i would just like to say that um, uh, you know um, there is a famous environmentalist um, jane goodall i think uh, I, uh, all of us must are would have heard about her she has done seminal work in the area of environment um, and wildlife. So uh, I was just reading one day and uh, I came across this uh, few, I mean, I'll just give you the gist of it. I don't remember the exact lines. She says that every um, uh, living being makes an impact. And I think she's talking in the context of human beings. We make an impact on the environment every moment of our lives, every day. We cannot pass through a single day without making an impact on our environment. And it is left to us to decide what kind of impact we want to make on the environment. We have to choose, I mean, we have to think and choose our actions uh, accordingly so that we have, you know, a positive impact on the environment. Because I personally feel that uh, the all of us, the life on this earth is interrelated and interdependent. So we cannot, um, you know, feel that uh, our actions alone, uh, you know, we alone um, will be impacted by our actions. The whole the life around us will be impacted. So um, I think it is important to understand this principle of reduce, reuse and recycle uh, because that uh, takes us uh, to, you know, uh, towards a plan of action or towards our thoughts being geared uh, you know, it will uh, sort of motivate us or inspire us to take our thoughts towards this um, uh, living sustainably to solve the problems, you know, of 
the planet that is what kind of life what kind of action what kind of uh, you know thought processes or what kind of activities we should be engaged in human kind especially so as to make life sustainable on this planet now as part of this campaign i think it has been very ideally chosen under uh, this uh, campaign as uh, one of the 11 parameters of this special campaign too by the government of india and by our honorable prime minister he has recently in his visit to gujarat uh, he has uh, launched this mission life mission life is a global action plan which is aimed at saving the planet from disastrous consequences of climate change and it uh, emboldens in it the con- the spirit of pre- p3 that is pro planet people so we have to see how our actions how our activities how our day to day whether it is in the office or in our daily lives we have to see how we are impacting the environment and we have to see that we have to be pro people we have to be pro our fellow human beings in all our actions so um i think it was very well uh, delivered and a very um, extensively explained Uh, by uh, our um, expert in the previous session as to what kind of lifestyle changes what kind of plans we should have so as to adhere to these concepts and the the concepts has been ever evolving like he just mentioned five r i think whether you could uh, you know add on words like reclaim reduce reuse recycle reclaim or a record and so on and so forth you know it just goes on to how you could have more sustainable practices so and he also spoke about circular economy i think which is absolutely important because uh, it gives us a model of consumption that involves sharing leasing reusing repairing refurbishing recycling existing materials and products till as long as we can so the 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 basic underlying principle is that instead of extracting new resources instead of you know further uh, you know sort of uh, impacting the environment by you know extracting our resources we should try to make use of the existing resources so um, uh, i think i'll just end over here because uh, there's a lot which can be spoken on this topic and uh, i'm sure our other participants would be eager to share their views on this and i would once again like to thank uh, all our regional uh, center participants uh, dr sukumar dr satyakirti and the whole team in rc trivandrum for organizing this program and um, as you all know the, the indira gandhi national university has also taken this uh in the right earnest the special campaign 2 uh because the government of india with the success of the special campaign 1 on uh, cleanliness with a thrust on cleanliness and record management or cleanliness of the office premises maintenance of office and uh you know in keeping with the environmental principles and also you know the uh, general principles of office management has taken up this program so um thank you so much for giving me this chance and uh, i think we the session can go on thank you dr sukumar thank you ma'am for your uh, informative comments now the session is open for uh, open discussion uh, all the participants can uh, come over for uh, a small uh, your discussions your uh, comments on uh, this particular topic please you can give your suggestions or you can uh, ask ask some questions uh, this is said to be an open session please satya i think there is no discussions yeah 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 nobody who <laughs> has nobody is responding having any they are not having any questions i think so some questions are there in the chat box already yeah 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 so our uh, asi patna and uh, amal raj yeah 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 they have they have given their comments sanil Sa- kumar sir from yes. kollam for their valuable comments yes so i have here rajendra sir okay 
ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर सर थैंक यू फॉर डॉक्टर सुमन सर टीम फॉर कंडक्टिंग सच एन अमेजिंग वेबिनार लेड बाय श्री राजेंद्र द सेशन वाज सो वंडरफुल एंड इंटरेस्टिंग इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड एंड इंटरेस्टिंग सर थैंक यू माय डियर थैंक यू बेस्ट फ्रेंड मिस्टर राजेंद्र फॉर गिविंग सच एन वंडरफुल स्पीच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर thank you sanal sir thank you very much okay so shall we uh, shall we wind up with uh, the next session like uh, we'll have the vote of thanks yeah yes definitely so uh, i i request uh, our uh, assistant registrar sri s raja uh, to deliver the formal vote of thanks yes sir sir please yes sir thanks good evening it has been such a honor to be a part of this wonderful webinar today on behalf of our situandram i would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed guest shri mc rajalan trainer mentor dopt government of india sir thanks for accepting and making an excellent webinar It was meaningful and interesting sir however younger generation or the only hope to follow reduce reuse and recycle and dispose of e waste to save our environment our sincere thanks to honorable vice chancellor pro vice chancellors and director rsd for giving an opportunity to conduct the program at rc trivandrum and grateful thanks to our senior regional director dr b sukumar trivandrum for organizing the event success thanks for ARDs and all senior RDs, RCs, its LSCs, functioners, and participants made the webinar memorable one. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir. Sir, we'll end this uh, program with our uh, national anthem. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Namaskar. Congrats. It was a wonderful session. I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> okay. No problem. <laughs> so you enjoy it. But you know, ah, ah, both both actually. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, it's not. It's a very very interactive session. We all enjoyed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So, see you again, sir. Meet yeah. You. Thanks for the support. Thank you. What number? Congratulations! Congratulations! Comment on that. Rajendra has raised the hand. Yeah. 